Hey everyone, Mark here with Discover Your Home and tonight we're going to talk about I have a deck, I have a brand new deck, or I have an old deck. It's peeling. Why? Somebody help me. Sounds good. So here's the, here's the deal on this. Um, I'm going to give you kind of my experience of what I've seen and what I know. And sometimes you just don't know. Um, let's take a brand new cedar deck. I'll tell you, this has happened. I've seen this countless times. So a homeowner will call me up about a year after they do their deck, have a deck built on their, in their, on their property. And they'll be like, our deck looked beautiful. We stained it. And three months later, it looks horrible. Four months later, it's peeling. It's, it's, it's horrible. What, what went wrong? So I kind of worked through a process of, okay, let's find out what you do and what you didn't do. Okay. Uh, first I'll ask is what product you use. I will ask if you clean the deck. I would ask if you let the deck season. Now, this is a cedar deck, okay? Um, there are other types of woods out, out there, but a majority of wood decks are cedar or womanized. We can get into that a little bit later too. Okay, so as a cedar deck goes, did you clean it? What product did you use on it? What product did you use to clean it? Did you sand it? Did you let the deck season? Okay, there's a myriad of questions there that... Uh, when you dig down deep, you'll find the answer. And a lot of times, the biggest key is people say, ah, they washed the deck down. They probably took the hose and rinsed it down. And they put stain right on top of the old, the brand new deck. Because they're excited. They spent a lot of money on this deck. They want it to look good. So they didn't let it season. I always tell folks, let your deck season for three to four months, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. You'll see that kind of warm, nutty brown color wood, especially when it rains, it looks great. You can kind of smell that cedar. All of a sudden, as it seasons, it starts to blonde. The wood starts to turn a more blondish color. So that's when you like to go ahead, clean it, give it a sanding, and then go ahead and stain it. A lot of times what happens is when cedar decking is milled, it has a mill glaze on there. It's kind of a thin film that's on there that really doesn't allow the, the sealant or the stain to penetrate into that wood. So let your deck season. That's really a, a, a big reason why brand new cedar decks are peeling. So we'll kind of put that aside here. Why does womanized deck peel? I find that womanized deck, same thing. You want to let it season. Okay, if it's brand new, um, I generally, especially on newer womanized decks, I generally do not like to put a solid body stain on there or a solid body paint, a, a paint on there, um, because there is chemical that is really injected. It's forced into the wood, and eventually it's starting to leach out. And I have found that. Um, Womanized decks, especially newer, have a tendency with that leaching. It keeps the paint, solid body paint or stain or solid body stain and or paint from sticking very well and eventually kind of gets pushed off. I see that a lot, especially on floors on top of handrails. Um, it just it is what it is. So um, use a semi-transparent, a semi-solid, preferably oil. You want to get to it to really penetrate down in the wood. That's another reason. I find that poor, poor preparation and we'll start with that and then poor application. Okay. So poor preparation means the deck wasn't cleaned well enough. Somebody along the line, whether it was you, a contractor, whomever stained that deck, they went from one, say had semi-transparent on there and they want to go to another semi-transparent. They didn't get the old stuff off whatever it is, you really have to give a good, clean, sound surface for your material to stick to. So let's say you have a semi-transparent deck and you want to, you're want you tired of maintaining it as frequently, you want to go to a solid. I'm going to tell you, especially on the floor, 
part of that deck, you're going to definitely, and the top of the handrails, you're going to want to clean it and you're going to want to sand it. You really, if, if you can really get on it with a floor sander, I would recommend doing that or, you know, a good size orbitable, orbital sander. You need to make sure you get a good solid bond there. Okay. Now, application. A lot of times, I know this sounds kind of funny, but a lot of times you'll see people out there, it's a nice sunny day, and they're out there staying in their deck, and it looks really great. And then about three months, six months, a year down the road, it starts to peel. What people fail to understand is that when you're staining your deck in direct sunlight, and it's 12 o'clock and, you know, in the Midwest here on a, you know, good summer day, you know, that deck's 110, 120 degrees, you know, it's really cooking. And that paint is literally, or stain, I should say, is literally drying too quick for it to adhere. It's not adhering properly. And they'll even read, your, read the, the directions on the stain can or the paint can uh, of your manufacturer. They tell you, try to avoid direct sunlight, try to avoid 24 hours of rain, you know, rain within 24 hour period of your application. Make sure you're doing it where it's a little overcast or start in the morning, do a section, finish up in the late afternoon. Um, because if you don't get good adhesion, you will have peeling problems with your deck. It just, these are the things that I've seen. Uh, the other thing that I'm seeing just recently is these heavy bodied thick coatings. I can't remember. I know there's a couple different companies out there that carry them. Everybody's starting to carry them now where they're really kind of designed to fill and make the deck look better because it's been neglected for so long. Those, I'll tell you what, there again, I see a lot of failure with those. The, those decks with that type of material because the people probably didn't do a really good job prepping it, okay? Number one. Number two, you know, it's a really thick body coating, okay? So these manufacturers that make this stuff have never really said, if it fails, how do I, how do I get this to, to, to resolve itself? And honestly, uh, the times that we've gone out and looked at projects, we're sanding them, we're literally sanding these decks down almost to, to wood again just because they're, they're so thick and they didn't they didn't really penetrate they really kind of lay on top and fill um they can cause a, a little bit of a challenge for you and your deck if you don't do good preparation and then finally good application so hopefully this answers some of the questions on why is my deck peeling thanks again for joining me i'm mark with discover your home we'll see you soon